and girls are you happy today i am so so happy for you joining me this morning i am coming to you from pc and sunday school and i welcome you to our online lesson for today and before we start our lesson for today we are going to say a word of prayer what do you do when you want to pray we put our hands together we close our eyes and let us pray. Mighty and everlasting Father, we honor you, God, because you are the Alpha and the Omega. We come before you with repentant hearts this day, asking the Lord you may forgive us all our trespasses, dear Father. We want to thank you for all the good things that you have done for us, for keeping us alive, keeping our teachers, our parents, and our guardians. We pray, Lord, that you be together with us as we learn our lesson today. Bless our teachers as they give us your lesson. Help us understand what you have prepared for us this day. It is a prayer of faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. And now, children, we are going to start this lesson by inviting our teachers to sing this song that says, Heavenly Father. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. Again, my God. My God is so big, so strong, so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains, the mountains are his, the valley, valleys, the stars, the stars are his handiwork to the mountains, the mountains are his, the valley. The his the stars, the stars are his handiwork to my God is so big, my God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, my God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. And now, boys and girls, it's time for us to hear our Bible story for the day. And I'm going to welcome Teacher Jane to give us the story. Welcome, Teacher Jane. Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to our Bible story this Sunday. I hope you are well kept of the Lord and you are praising the Lord as I am. Let us remind ourselves what we learned last Sunday. Yes, it was about the Magi and how they visited Jesus. And I know even you during Christmas, you have something to give to Jesus, also your heart. Today's Bible story comes from the book of Genesis, chapter 1, from verse 1 to 25. And make sure you read the whole story. Yes, the whole chapter will make you understand more about what we are about to learn. And before we learn, I have a story for you. 
And this story is of two boys. One was called John and the other one was called Peter. They used to go to a certain forest to play. And one day, as they were playing, they got deeper to the forest. And now it was getting dark. And the forest became thicker and thicker and more so dark and darker. And they started getting afraid because even they could not know how to go back home. But God is good because as they were strolling there, stranded, they happened to meet a warder who was going back home. And he showed them the way back. And when they were on their way, they were happy and even that the warder for taking them back to their home. Today's story is about God's creation. And as it is in the Bible, we are told that the world was full of darkness and there was nothing, only that everywhere was full of dark, only the Holy Spirit who was hovering around. And you know what? God was there in existence. So God did not start with creation. No, he was there even before creation. And now, since he wanted to create me and you, you know what he did? He started preparing a place for us where we will live so that we will live comfortably in this world. And he did that in six whole days. And he did everything per day, per day. He did the creation of the day and the night. That is day one. He said, let there be light and there was light. And oh, you know what? When the light was there, God was so happy because he saw that it was good and he named it day and night. Boys and girls, I know you are getting excited of how God was doing this creation. Remember, the world was not created in one day. Now the second day, God saw that the, the world, before, no, it's not the world, the earth was full of water. Above in the sky and even the below, it was full of water. And you know what he said? He said, let there be a separation of the water that is under and the water that is above. And you know what happened? This is the second day. And the second day, there was sky and water. Oh, I like this. Day by day, the world is being created. The third day, God saw that having the sky and the waters, there needed to be some plant so that when he will create man, the man will have plenty of food and fruits. And that is what he did. He made the ground to start growing plants. And that is the third day where he made vegetation of all kinds. There was all the fruits that we eat, the vegetables, all those seeds, uh, plants. He created them on the third day. You see how God cares for us? Yes, he was preparing to create one. But before that, he had to make everything good for him so that he will live a happy life on the world or on the earth. Now on the fourth day, God made sure that having created day and night, there needed something to separate even the days and years and even the seasons. And you know what he did? He created the sun that we see to govern the day and also the moon and the stars so that they can govern the night. And that's why they had lesser light because the day we need a lot of light so that when man will be created, he could be able even to work during the day. Yes, that is when he, he created the heavenly bodies. And you know what? God was not using his hands. He could just say, let there be. And when he said, it could happen. 
see the power of God and his might. Yes, just a word and it could happen. Now on the fifth day, God saw that this man, he can't live alone. And he needed even more food, maybe meat and etc. So the water that he had separated from the above and the water that was under, he had created the sea and the lakes on the underground. And that's why he, having created the sea, knew there has to be some animals that will be living in the sea. And that's when he said, let there be creatures of the sea. And you know what happened? There was fish of all kinds. The whales, even the shark, the small fish, and all the other creatures that live in the water. And on top of that, he created even the birds that fly above. All those, even the cows, goat, every other animal. It was created, uh, uh, all the creatures in the, sorry, all the creatures of the sea were created on the fifth day. And on the sixth day, that is when he created the animals that live on the land. That is the cattle, sheep, elephant, lions, all those animals you may know that live on the land. They were created on the sixth day. And on that sixth day, God made sure that he even created one so that he can come and govern all the Lord's creation. And here we have something, or oh, this is the world, the map that shows how God created all the world. I know most of them have ever seen it, and those who have never seen it, you can see it now. This is how the world looks like. It has so many continents. Yes, there is America, there is Asia, there is Africa. All this is the Lord's creation. And you can see, as we said, there was the part of the sea. The blue part covers the underwater that God created so that there are those animals that were to live in the waters. And on the other part, we have the dry land where as human, after the creation of God, we were to live. And that's why even exactly right now we are living. Yes, this is the work of the Lord. How marvelous it is. You can see it is very, very beautiful as God saw it. When he finished the creation, he looked and said it was good. And for sure, even you can attest to that, that it was good. And now, as we come to wind up the lesson, I would like you to know the order of the creation. Yes, we've said it was created in six days. And so that we may always remember how the days followed each other. I have this chart here with the six days of creation. And maybe for easy, for ease of remembering, we have this question that is going down from here downwards. And the question asks, does Samuel visit his sister always? Yeah, it's a question, but it has a meaning. Does it stand for the day and night? Somewhere it stands for sky and water. Visit, that is V, it is for vegetation. His is for heavenly bodies. Sister, it stands for sea and sea creatures. And always it stands for animals and human beings. Uh, it is easy for us to keep on remembering the days as they followed one another. Yes, the question is, does Samuel visit his sister always? I know you can say it. 
and you can still memorize it. And this brings us to our memory verse, which comes from the book of Genesis, uh, Psalms chapter 19, verse 1. And it says, The heavens keep telling the wonders of God, and the skies declare what he has done. Let us come up together, all of us. Psalms chapter 19, verse 1. It says, The heavens keep telling the wonders of God, and the skies declare what he has done. May God bless you as you continue enjoy living in this world that the Lord created for us. Be blessed as we meet next Sunday. God bless you. And now, boys and girls, it is that time for Did You Know? Boys and girls, welcome to the section of Did You Know? Did you know that when God was creating the earth or the world, he just said, let there be, and it happened. But when he created man, he used his own hands. I thought we should know. Boys and girls, it is time for our theme song. And I'm going to invite our teachers as the leaders in this song that says, you are the God of creation. Creation, the Lord of my life, Lord of the land and the sea. You, the Lord of creation, before there was life, Lord of all lords, you will be. I bow down and we we'll worship you, Lord. We bow down, 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 and we worship you, Lord. Down and we worship you, Lord. Lord of all lords, you will be. Lord of all lords, you will be. And now it is that time that we all love and are so, so attentive as we are taken through the Bible craft by Teacher Peter. Welcome, Teacher Peter. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to our Bible craft section where we craft God's word. In our last lesson, we made a star because we were in the Christmas mood and we were creating some Christmas crafts. Today, we move over to a lesson on creation. And so we are going to create a craft that looks like this. That is the world, and these are hands. We want to imagine that these are hands of God, and we are saying that we, God has the whole world in his hands. So for you to be able to create this craft of the world, you need to have one, two, and three papers two of the same color and one of a different color. Then you need to have your crayons. Uh, more so, you need to have a green crayon and a blue crayon. Then you also need to have a marker pen or a pencil or a pen that you'll use to trace uh, the palm of your hand. And last, you'll need to have the glue stick. And before that, you'll also need to have a round object. This time, you're using this plate. It is a plastic plate. So pick your plate or pick your round object, pick your one color of paper, then you'll be able to draw up the circle. I'll use this marker pen to draw out the circle. Then once I've drawn the circle, with my pair of scissors, I'll cut around it. I'll cut around it with my pair of scissors, cut round, 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 round. We are cutting out a circle so that we are able to, to draw the world. Then once I've done that, I'll pick the two colors of paper, then I'll trace the palm of my hand. So with the marker pen, I'll trace the hand. I'll trace the hand. For you, if your hand is small, you can actually use a half of the A4 paper so that you can be able to save on paper. So I'll have done that. 
Then once I've done that, I'll join the two papers together and cut them together. For you, you can cut one, one, one. Eh? So I'll cut round and round up the thumb finger, then down, down the thumb up to the pointing finger, then down the pointing finger, then up the index finger, down the index finger, then up the ring finger, down the ring finger, then up the pinky or the small finger, then down the small finger. Remember we are cutting two of them at the same time. Eh? Then down the palm of the hand, and there we have the palm of our hand that has been cut out. So we'll pick this marker pen so that I have the outline so that we have uniformity and a good finishing for this other one. So I have drawn the outline down the palm and down the pointing finger. So I have the two hands and I have the circle. So we'll need to draw some images that most probably will show that this is uh, the world. So that's an image I want to uh, think and hope that this is one of those continents and this is another continent over here. And then in between, we have the water. So we'll color the waters in color blue. Color blue for the waters. Color blue for the waters. So you color, 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 color. Color blue for the waters. Then I'll pick color green and color for the land or for the continents. Color green for the continents. So I'll keep on coloring, coloring, coloring. Coloring, coloring. Then I think this is luminous green, just to add in a bit of uh, color. So I'll mix up the colors. I have a dark green and a luminous green. So I have already done that. Then I'll pick the glue stick and fix up the hands. Fix up the hands. In fact, this time around, I want to work it out in this other way eh? and on this other way. So I'll apply the glue where the hands will be fixed. Then once I have applied the glue, I'll be able to fix the world on top of the hands. So here are the hands and here is the world. Then I'll be able to write, he has got all that he has got the whole world in his hands. He has got the whole world in his hands. Then over here I'll write my name. Teacher Peter. So here we have done the world and the hands. We are saying that God has the whole world in his hands. This is another one. In fact, for this one you can use it. Uh, the hands can actually embrace the world like that and like this. So we have done this one right now. This is what we had done earlier on. Before we finish, you clear up your space. Make sure that your space is tidy and clean. So I have packed up all the items. And this is the work that we have done of the world and the hands. And we are saying that God has the whole world in his hands. And so children, boys and girls, we really would like to see the work that you have done. If you want us to see your work, please send it to this number that is appearing on the screen right now. Thank you and God bless you. Boys and girls, did you have fun today in our lesson?
And now we have come to the end of our lesson. And once again, as we started and said and asked God to be together with us, we are also going to end with a word of prayer. What do we do once again? We put our hands together, we close our eyes and bow our heads and let us pray. Mighty God and King of Kings, we want to thank you for the time that you have given unto us this day. Thank you for the teachers and the lessons that they have given unto us, O oh Lord. May you help your word remain in our hearts, that it may help us grow in your wisdom, Father, and in love, and Father, that you may also be able to preach your word to other children who do not know your word. Thank you for today, Lord. Bless our teachers, bless our parents. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen and amen. And now, boys and girls, please, if you haven't liked our Facebook page, kindly do so. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel and also tell a friend to also tell a friend. Boys and girls, and remember, stay safe. Bye-bye.